Hey YouTube, so today we are making probably one of my favorite substitute ingredients when I'm making healthy dishes and that is cauliflower and using it in a food processor because trust me a food processor makes your whole life so much easier. You can cut things quickly, you can grind things quickly, things get a great texture, you can mix things and then just the flavors build so nicely. So today we're making, um, I, I use some perfect Italiano Parmesan cheese in um, my ground cauliflower, so basically with it a little bit like a risotto in the sense that I'm adding some stock just to soften it down, some flavoring, some cheese, um, and then you can add some mushrooms and different textures if you want to add some bacon or anything like that, that's possible. But this is just the base to show you how we can do a mock cauliflower risotto of sorts that's actually really healthy and quite tasty, so check it out. So really simply, we're going to start by taking two heads of cauliflower that we're just going to break up and put into our food processor here. I love food processors because you can do so much with them um, and, and they're absolutely great when you want to add texture and make it something different with um, ingredients that are more common. Um, so I'm just going to put that all in there and then the cover. When I've got everything locked up, I'm just going to press it. We're done when we have a nice um, coarse almost rice-like texture just that. In a hot pan, I'm just gonna add one large red onion that's been chopped uh, with about two cloves of chopped garlic as well, just finely chopped. And I'm just gonna cook that down until it's nice and sweated out. Once I have a nice color on them, we're just gonna add our cauliflower rice right on top. to break it up all a little bit and then we're gonna add a little bit of oil just to help make sure that it all separates. Just one tablespoon of oil in there. Separate it a little just as so. Give it a quick toss with the onions to make sure that everything's proportionally mixed. And then we're gonna add about, um, let's say we'll start with one half cup of Arcadia vegetable broth just to help cook down everything a little bit faster. Once that's cooking covered, I'm just gonna add about one tablespoon of oil, olive oil into a pan, and I'm just gonna quickly just stir fry these um, bunchi meiji uh, mushrooms from Korea. Make sure to season it a little bit with some salt and some pepper just to give it more. Once I have everything ready and you see that it's um, slightly drying out like that, that's absolutely perfect. We're gonna reduce the fire just a little bit so it gets nice and gentle. And then I'm gonna add about, we're gonna start with one handful, so about a fourth of a cup of, um, I've got perfect Italiano here, Parmesan cheese that I'm just gonna put on top here. And then of course I'm gonna put some seasoning, just some black pepper, and then some salt, just on top of that. Give that a good mix, wait for the cheese to melt. Right before serving, I'm just gonna put a splash of milk here, put about three tablespoons just to really bind together and get that milky risotto-like consistency um, that we're expecting to get from this dish. And just to make sure that the cheese is really unified and combined all over the place. Now to plate this very simple dish, I'm just gonna take our cauliflower risotto and put that on a bowl here. So that should be enough for one portion. And then I'm gonna take my mushrooms that have been nicely browned just like that. Put that in the middle. And then we're gonna take a little bit of arugula just to give it a little bit of brightness. Put that on top as so. You mix some of the arugula with the mushrooms just to get a nice topping just like that. And then right on top, I'm just gonna put a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and then a crack of black pepper just to finish it off. All 
I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was really healthy, very fun to do. I actually ate full bowl by myself, even though the portion was for two people. Um, I only missed maybe having maybe a good steak on it or something. That'd be great. Anyways, if you want to see more videos like that, if you want to see more healthy option videos, if you want to see any type of videos, just let me know. Go on the blog of fatkidinside.com. Go on YouTube slash fatkidinside. Make sure to click that subscribe button. It's very important. And give me your comments. Let me know what you want to see and what you want me to try out.